Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here. I hope you are doing excellent, having a wonderful Friday. Um, I am. I've been up early, and I'm just excited to be alive today. I hope you are too. So today, I want to talk about a couple things, and one of them is what I always call uh, list building. So I am huge on building a list, marketing to that list, following up with them, and then. Um, taking off people off that list uh, yes no yes no over over time it's a it's a very basic straightforward sales process um, most sales professionals understand this I come from a sales world if you can't already tell um, so being able to um, build a list that you're going to market to is a very important step in your business and then number two is how do you market to them effectively not be annoying be cool about it at the same time build trust so people know like and trust you and then of course close a deal make a transaction and make some freaking money okay so here's how um here's how i go about this for the virtual tour space and i'm in houston texas so I'm, i usually contextualize everything through houston um, and the reason why i'm showing my screen right here from google is i want to go from idea just like random idea I have in my head to um, to making a list and actually uh, showing you how I would actually do it. Um, I personally, because I don't have much time, um, I outsource my list creation to a virtual assistant or I even have a small team in Pakistan that does my list building for me. It depends on how complicated the project is and you can find them for three fifty an hour to five bucks an hour and get some really high quality stuff and not pay too much for it. I highly recommend this. Um, but Oh yeah, and a quick uh, full disclosure. Um, I own the company CloudPalo.com. Uh, it's a 360 virtual uh, tour software platform. You can create uh, really high class uh, virtual tours on this uh, platform. I'm totally biased towards this software. I want you to use it. But here's the thing, all my content here, you don't have to use my software to benefit from the content. I mean, maybe some of you are, are gonna be smart, go out and get a bunch of customers, then come to Cloud Panel and become a Pro Plus user, but you don't have to be one to benefit from the content. But full disclosure, um, I love Cloud Panel. We built it, we're making it, making it more awesome every day. It takes a lot of hard work to make good software. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. If there ever is there something you want um, or something that you think could be better, let me know. I'll most most likely tell, I, I might tell you no, but besides that, let's go back to the list building. Okay, so I was sitting here. Uh, yes, last time I was thinking about what would be a cool, weird niche to target that I think virtual tours, uh, 360 VR tours, are primed to go into. It has lots of money, low competition. Those are my favorite favorite uh, places to uh, compete at, com compete to or compete with. Um, so check this out. I thought about wedding venues. Okay, wedding venues in Houston. So I type it into Google. It, literally any city, you can do this anywhere. Um, so if I type this into Google, what pops up, right? Well, what I want you to do is do something similar. Wedding just for fun. Type in wedding venues in your city. Okay, I've, and Houston's a large market, so I, I totally understand if um, if your market's smaller doesn't mean you can't target this list for a temporary period of time. So if you look right here, every, every red dot is this is a good sign, right? I have big venues, um, and as I move this map around, th those red dots change. So in the central part of Houston, these are probably being very competitive, high-class places, lots of money. I still want them on my list. But at the same time, I need to be realistic and also think, what's externally outside of Houston that I can still target? And as I move my map over, I see some places pop up. Lindsay Lakes, never heard of it. The Springs, actually, I got married here. In the, in the in the west side of Houston, this east, <laughs> it's popping up right here uh, near Brookshire. Me and my wife got married there, so that's cool. Um, and I know there's mul I know there's multiple locations for the Springs. I know that a lot of these companies franchise out, or they have multiple locations across the city. So that's a good thing for you. You break in with one, you get four more customers automatically, right? That's what you want. You want to make so so we see something right here pop up Ashton Gardens Houston, Ashton Gardens West Houston, and they're running an ad. Good, they want more attention and they're spending money. So that's what I want to um, go after. So uh, if I was to go to Ashton Gardens, which rather than click on their ad, I'm going to be kind and uh, type it in Ashton Gardens Houston. Okay, so here it is. Let's just go to their website. This is, this is the instructions I would give my VA. I say, I want you to build a list. Here's how I want you to do it. Go to their website first thing. Now, if you look up here, they got Houston West. There's actually multiple locations, and, I, and I've, I've clicked into Houston West. You can see the subdirectory here, so that's good. So if I go to contact, contact and directions, 
or if I look at their venue, their chapel, cool, let's give a quick look. Is there any 360 virtual tour already here? Is there any VR tour here or any type of Google Maps tour? Well, I don't see one, but I also see something too, some some more data. I see something, uh, the knot, the best of weddings. Okay, cool, the knot, I'm gonna record that. They're asking, they're, they're trying to do some kind of lead capture. This looks like, uh, see a lead capture form, please put your information in here and click submit. Good, that's where we can send, send the leads. Uh, my son's walking to the door. Um, and what you have here is, if you go to their gallery, though obviously they, they only have a video tour. Cool. So that means they probably are it will be interested in a virtual tour. Um, I'm gonna close this door here in a second. Uh, so cool. So they have pictures already. So if you're so obviously most folks are gonna have photos, right? So you're pitching 360 virtual tours. You don't gotta pitch photos if you don't want to, but you still can. Beautiful venue, looks really cool. They're gonna want to show it off in 360 and VR, and it's gonna be an easy pitch for you. Okay, cool. So I got some some quick data. If I go to their contact page here, I'm looking for a name and an email and a phone number. Well, look, sales director, Bernie Smith, cool. We have an email we can market to. You have a phone number. Those are the three things I would add on to a, um, I would add on to a spreadsheet, and then I would target that person via an email campaign. And I would, I would, I would say something very simple, and I also have it automatically follow up through software. I would say, hey, listen, here's what we do. We specialize in making 360 VR tours for wedding venues, and I can guarantee it's going to help you increase your booking rate per month. Um, and we charge monthly, so it's it's really a low cost for you to use us. Um, so your, your goal is to go out there and shoot and, and basically have the whole city of Houston paying you monthly to have their wedding venues create, uh, have, have your 360 VR tours, right? And then you can always upsell them on other services like, hey, listen, I saw you're trying to do some lead capture. I can run Facebook ads for you and do a test for you for a month. It's only 500 bucks a month, but plus whatever your budget is. All of a sudden you've got all these different cool services and ways you can make money and you're targeting through the niche of virtual tours, right? So you are a 360 tech media company, but you also provide marketing services as an upsell. So that's a really cool thing. You like almost automatically turn it into a small business right there going from nothing right all you need is like one proof of concept to go sell with and what you need to do is you email these people and then whoever opens the emails you call to follow up right so that's, that's just a quick um quick and dirty video on on how to target a weird random niche not not, not that weird i mean if you think about it wedding venues need to book more people right they got money three thousand dollars a weekend something like that they got money bro they can pay you a hundred dollars a month to host a virtual tour for them um, so, and they probably pay more than that and a setup fee if you want. But if you're getting started, you can say, hey, listen, I'll, I'll do a setup fee free. I'll come shoot it for free and I'll just host it for a hundred bucks a month. Uh, how many, if, as long as you give me a, a referral to your next location, if you guys love it, like all of a sudden you got five locations that's paying you hundred bucks a month, making $500 a month passively. And you just manage the, uh, the tour on cloud Pano if you decide to use that software. Right. So, um, yeah, that's hopefully helpful for you. Get some ideas rolling. There's a lot of other cool niches, nursing homes, I mean, car dealerships. You can build a list this way and target to that list. It's important to target one list at a time. I know what you, you, may, you may think, I'm gonna target every, everyone I possibly can. Just just pick one at a time. And uh, trust me, as you follow up at an appropriate time length, not too fast, not too annoying, not too not too pitchy, but in a, in a good uh, way where you stay on top of mind, um, you will find yourself uh, booked up all over the place. Okay, good luck out there. Zach out. Have a good day. And remember, if you aren't a Cloud Pano Pro Plus user, and the time is now, we're raising the pricing soon. I'll see you inside.